today we're doing a deep dive into the Devo Cloud guitar by Eastwood. My friend Devin is going to tell you all about this guitar starting right now. So I first saw the uh, guitar in the Girl You Want video. I uh, originally thought it was green because they messed with the hue of it. And then a little bit later I got a live DVD where they played, it was 1980 where they played um, in Petaluma, California. It was the Freedom of Choice tour. Okay. That's the main tour he used it on. The background with it is that uh, Ivan has approached him to build a custom guitar, but um, he didn't want anything in the catalog, so he kind of took a magic marker and scribbled on it and said, make me a potato, Okay. <laughs> paint it brown, and I guess a few months later, that showed up. This showed up, but it was blue at that point. Yes, it was blue. I guess he said it was like some Japanese artist's interpretation of oh, okay. what he drew in the catalog. <laughs> brown equals blue. Okay, yeah. now we know. <laughs> This is your model right here. And so did you make any modifications to this after you got it from Eastwood? Yes, I made a few. Um, so I swapped out the bridge. Uh, that's the Ibanez Gibraltar bridge that should have been on it. That's what's on the original. I also did the quick change tail piece, which is also what was on the original. And I did the sure grip knobs as well. Everything else is their interpretation of it. Uh, they said everyone wants an exact replica, but it couldn't be done. I guess some cloud is better than no cloud at all. Finally showed up in 2020. I ordered it um, September of 2019 for my 30th birthday. Nice. And didn't show up, yeah, for about what, eight months? Something like that. Okay. <laughs> so it was Eastwood, like probably what, 2019 came out and said, hey, we're making this. Bob one guitar yeah and it was kind of a GoFundMe situation or? yeah it's like a GoFundMe type thing that's what they do with all their guitars I um, mean okay. they get enough backers uh, they'll make it the Eastwood site says something about a warp drive on this guitar so is that specific to this guitar is that an Eastwood thing uh, no it's actually specific to the original guitar um, it had something similar I don't think it was called the warp drive but basically all it is is an active uh, decibel boost uh, you flip the switch and it gets a little louder for leads or something like that nice built-in overdrive pedal pretty much thing. yeah Flip that down and yeah, it's probably, I think like a 10 decibel increase or something. Okay, like that. that's enough. Yeah. It cuts, it cuts. the warp drive and then one of these is a uh, splitter for the, yeah, the bridge one, pickup. Yeah, one will split uh, the coil so it'd be like single coil and the other one would put it out of phase to kind of give you that Brian May sound if that's what you were looking for. Cool. <laughs> so we know the original guitar was an Ibanez, so do you know how Eastwood got involved in this? Uh, they just like doing obscure guitars and uh, they've done a few Devo guitars in the past. But to me, you know, this is kind of the holy grail Devo guitar if you're a fan. They did like the whip it one with the inverted horn and all that and they also did the uh be stiff bass which is like a i'm not sure what he was going for it's either a uh, mushroom or a penis it was a little phallic <laughs> yes a little phallic <laughs> <laughs> so you said you made a couple modifications where did you have any gripes with how this turned out a few um it seems like they did shrink the body a little bit this back horn here um it's definitely not quite how the original is. Um, it's more shallow where the other one should more, be more of a V. And then they definitely made the headstock a little too large. But otherwise, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. It plays well, it sounds pretty decent. At some point I might uh, upgrade the covers to better match the old Japanese hardware I put on it. Thanks, Devin, for talking about your guitar and bringing this thing in. So we'll give this thing a test drive and uh, come back to it later. All right, anytime. <laughs> I hope you guys got some insight from this video, so please like and subscribe below, and I'll see you guys next time.